ہمارزکنا ڈیئر فرینڈز السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ دس از آئی ریسائٹڈ آیت نمبر ففٹی سیون آف سورت البقرا ان دس آیت اللہ ٹیلز آس اباؤٹ دا بلیسنگز دیٹ اللہ اسپریڈ اپان دا بنی اسرائیل وین دے ور ان دا ڈیزرٹ اینڈ دیر واز نو اینی تھنگ ٹو ایٹ اینڈ ڈرنک اینڈ دیر واز ہاٹ Allah said, I made them, I, I provided the clouds to shade them and also I provided the food in the form of man and salva that was pure food and uh, those people, they were not thankful. So this is the main thing that is in this ayat. So we read now, وَزَلَّلْنَا <clears throat> And we shaded alaykum upon them gamama clouds so these were white clouds the allah because the people they were when they were on the way towards the uh, syria and uh, desert so inside there it was hot too much hot and uh, the bani israel people they requested musa al islam and Musa al-Islam, he requested Allah in dua, then Allah sent a white clothes, white clouds, that was every time uh, when they were walking, the clouds were walking with them also, just having shade over their heads, and they were feeling nice, no heart. So this was the blessings of Allah upon them. وَزَلَّلْنَا عَلَيْكُمُ الْغَمَامَ And we uh, shaded upon you with the clouds. وَأَنزَلْنَا And we sent down عَلَيْكُمْ upon you مَنْ وَالسَّلْوَى And we sent to you مَنْ and سَلْوَى The food. وَأَنزَلْنَا And we sent to you Alaykum al-manna wa salwa. Allah said that uh, we sent to you man and salwa. Man and salwa, actually, Musa alayhi salam, when requested for the food, because in the desert there was no food, so people, they requested Musa alayhi salam, and Musa alayhi salam requested Allah in dua. So Allah sent down uh, this special food, man and salwa. Man was sweet dish, and uh, the salva was a saltish dish so actually so allah said kulu eat min tayyibate min tayyibate this allah this is pure pak pure so this is a pure risk and allah said eat this pure ma razaknakum whatever we have given you the risk this risk is pure eat that one pure and halal so eat that one and wama zalamuna allah said we have not oppressed those people wala kan kanu anfusahum yazlimun and but those people they were oppressing themselves so it means they become they became unthankful and uh, they they were not really followers of Musa alayhi salam with the commands of Allah. So this way Allah told that those people, they have done the zulm. It means they were wrongdoers and also they oppressed themselves. So <clears throat> actually the Bani Israel, the, the original homeland, of the Bani Israel was Syria. And Yusuf al-Islam, 
he went to Egypt and then after Yusuf al-Islam when he he got the post of minister and after that the Egypt was under the Bani Israel so these people the Bani Israel they went and settled in Egypt but with the passage of time so what happened so the Amalka because they left the is Syria so the Syria was attacked by the other nation uh, those were Amalka and those people occupied that one and uh, because Syria was the original homeland of Bani Israel Allah said to Musa Islam that you and all the people of Bani Israel go to Syria and take your homeland back from Amalka and do jihad there and when Musa Islam said uh, invited the people to go to Syria and uh, people they were not really ready to go there but uh, they accepted but not with heart so they went with Musa Islam on the way there was a jungle desert so the problem so there was no food and, and hot and uh, too much hot heat there and then they requested Musa Islam and Musa Islam uh, made dua for Allah and Allah at that time uh, sent down like uh, clouds the white clouds they were just making shade upon their heads and when they were moving the clouds were moving with them so just having shade on their heads so this was the one blessings of Allah so the heat finished next because they were having the problem of food and with the dua of Musa Islam Allah sent down uh, man and salva so man was a sweet dish type thing sweet thing that was coming uh, down in the morning time like morning time from the early morning up before the sunrise so here we can see uh, and this uh, man it was falling down uh, from the early morning till the sunrise so this is the time of distribution of risk if the people who are sleeping so those people they are unable to get the halal risk because the when the angels they come to distribute halal risk they come every day early morning to sunrise this way according to Sharia we are not allowed to sleep in early morning to uh, to the sunrise so we have to if someone need to sleep then sleep after sunrise but if someone is ill that is other thing so so this way uh, that time early morning up to the sunrise that is the time of distribution of risk so this is not risk for this only body this is risk for body and soul also so risk of the body is the food like we because we are made up of earthen things so automatically the risk comes from the earth like we have to go to work and something money we get in the form of material things all type of risk is uh, is written uh, that Allah has written that is distributed every day uh, with, with the angels uh, like angels they distribute uh, from the early in the morning to sunrise so this way the man uh, was also man and salva that was also falling down on the surface of the earth uh, from the early in the morning to the sunrise time so don't sleep this time because this is the risk distribution time and otherwise you will fail to get the risk uh, some people they get the risk but that is not risky halal then some haram comes in that one so be careful inshallah so then try to wake up early in the morning and sleep if you are tired and you want to sleep sleep after sunrise then so 
This time, uh, man and salva, man was sweet dish that was falling down on the surface of the earth and those people they are just to put in the sheets and they were just to eat throughout the day. And, uh, uh, and the salva, it was like a small bird, it was like a coil type thing. So that bird, the many birds of these types, they were coming together, the air, blowing of the air, bringing the uh, birds towards the Bani Israel people who were in the desert. So they were just to slaughter them and um, and then uh, they were cooking them and then eat them. So this was the situation. So this was Salva. So man and Salva, that was a special blessings to them. And when they find, when they need the water, they requested the Musa alayhi salam and Musa alayhi salam hit with his stick the stone and uh, from their uh, 12 uh, fountains of water produced and they they drink water from that one so allah gave them everything even they were so much uh, blessed people that time you can say that their uh, you know the dress body dress it was not becoming dirty because uh, it was because of allah's blessings and uh, even if the child was children they were born the dress were also born with that one also and when they were born then the dress but they were born with the dress also so that was the other blessings and their nails they were not increasing but they were uh, same size so their hair no increasing because there was no arrangement of hair cutting and no nail cutting so this way allah said uh, allah gave this blessings also no hair uh, increasing in size no nail increasing in size well, they were having the blessed uh, time mashallah f- free food and that was the paradise food alhamdulillah allah's blessed food also and the other thing was that uh, what was the <clears throat> situation like uh, uh, and this food mansalva was coming every day but on friday it was coming double so because saturday it was off no food coming from allah so because saturday was a worship day for those people and uh, they were just to collect the food from uh, such uh, from friday and they were just to use it on uh, saturday so this way uh, but uh, but the situation was this one and those people they made a stock of that one they collected more and more and more and uh, this way uh, but order of Allah that was you have to collect only for one next day not more than that but they collected more and more for many days and they were thinking that we have to keep it and make a stock like like it was greediness and it was like a you say they were unthankfulness so uh, they collected and what happened when they collected so much food and automatically those become rotten and from that time the the arrival of man salva finished so they were they Allah Allah became angry because those people they were unthankful and this way whatever Allah gave them they were not thankful every time when they got any type of blessings at the end they were disobedient to Allah so they never follow Musa Islam and his commands that was just to make the obedient of Allah Okay, we request Allah that Allah make us uh, the obedient and we have to do everything under the commands of Holy Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu and we must be must stay under the uh, Sharia and the Quran and Sunnah. Amen.